boys escape this amazing boomerang as it chases them all over the sky on today's Linus the Lionhearted show. <laughs> For the answer, stay tuned right where you are. Roar, 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 Linus the Lionhearted. Linus is the one who lines up the fun. He's the host of which we both know. Roar, 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 Linus the King, Linus the Star, Linus the Lionhearted. The Linus the Lionhearted show is brought to you by Post. The cereals that make breakfast a little bit better. Post cereals make breakfast. A little bit better. Genuine treasure map. Now I better check this out with Linus. It is genuine, all right. It says so right on it. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. All right, immediately after this story. The cool, 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 aid cool. Wait, Jim, bugger! Okay, kids, let's all do the Kool Aid Cool. First, you shake like a package when you hear this tune. Cool, cool, the Kool Aid Cool. The next thing you do is spin like a spoon. Cool, cool, the Kool Aid Cool. Then you put on this happy smile and drink your Kool Aid Bunny style. Cool, cool, the Kool Aid Cool. Remember, kids, there's no sugar to add to pre-sweetened Kool-Aid, so there's no sugar miss. Your mama liked that. Let's put on a happy smile and drink your Kool-Aid funny style. Doing the cool, the Kool-Aid cool. Now you're doing the Kool-Aid cool. Get regular or pre-sweetened Kool-Aid and do the cool. Yep. It's a boomerang. I brought it with me all the way from Sydney, Australia. Ah, right in me pouch. Gee, gee, nice. Uh, could I try that? Oh, you, you could try, but you've got to get an expert to handle a boomerang like that. I'll see what I mean. Don't scratch it up now. Take good care of it. Oh, boy, have I got an idea. <laughs> Hey, Linus, you know, you know your Help Keep the Jungle Clean campaign? Yeah, I do. Well, somebody threw something here on the ground, right near your throne. Now, isn't that awful? Uh-huh, well, kindly throw it away. I did, but it came back. Impossible. Now, shh, I'm snoozing. <laughs> I drew it so far, it couldn't find its way back if it wanted to. Wow. Oh, boy, you're a great king. Well, so long. I gotta be gone. <laughs> Linus, I say Linus. Hello. He's out cold. <sighs> you all right, Governor? Yeah, 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 I'm all right. Hey, there's that same piece of trash that I've been throwing away. It's no trash. That's me Sydney special. Me boomerang from Sydney, Australia. I think Billy Bird's been playing a trick on you. And if so, old Denny here can help you get even. Here now, let me show you how to show this thing. You see, boomerangs have a tendency to come back. Well, that which I've discovered. Now, here's how to control it. It's in a snap of the wrist, a snap of the wrist, a snap, snap. <clears throat> Let me try that. Ah. Oh, Governor, you're on natural. Now, I'll show you when you can do it on Billy Bird, if you're of a mind to. <laughs> Wait, it's that piece of trash again. Let me throw it away once and for all. Thank you. Now to resume the snoozing. And <laughs> he's the king around here. How stupid can you get? Here it comes. <laughs> hey, hey, 
anything today? Uh, yeah, I played a joke on you. That Zinny kangaroo boomerang. Oh, I'll never touch it again. I, I promise. <laughs> well, that promise is broken already. <laughs> but you've learned your lesson today, Billy. Sometimes practical jokes have a tendency to... Boomerang. Right. <clears throat> Very funny. Ah, oh, gee. on this treasure map, King Eo. Take five scissor steps due north. Well, lead on, Stanley. Very well, Livingston. One, two, three, four. Take bigger steps, Sugar Bear. Five. This heat is terrible. If it doesn't rain soon, I'll be protecting nothing but popcorn. Well, I'd give anything for some rain. Oh, he wants rain, eh? And he'd give anything for it. <laughs> we soon see. <laughs> oh, you um raccoonum, me um Indian chief. My name, um, Big Chief Rain and Face. A an Indian? You look like a crow to me. Oh, uh, that's because I'm, uh, me Crow Indian. Leader of Crow Foot Tribe. Me do em rain dance. Bring em heat big downpour. Oh, boy. C can you really? That'd be great, because this... Quiet. Must be woke ancient Indian spirit. Don't fence me in. Wait, what's that? What's what, Chief? Hear i distant thunder. Where? I don't hear anything. Here, lie self down. Listen, Indian way, with ear pressed to the ground. <laughs> By golly, Chief, you're right. I heard it. Now look them up in sky. Lightning? But, but where's the rain? Ugh, 
must first make offering to Rain God. Uh, suggest we offer ten best ears of corn left in field. <laughs> the boob actually fell for it. <laughs> Here's some good corn, Chief. I found a shady spot. Well, need a privacy. Top secret tribal ritual. Oh, oh, sure. Of course. I understand. Boy, that was quick service. Uh-oh. He dropped one of the ears of corn. I'd better bring it to him, or the rain god might be mad. <laughs> mm, delicious. <laughs> this is far and away the best trick I ever pulled, even for me. <laughs> why, why, keep rain in the face? You're eating that corn. You said you were going to offer it to the rain god. Uh, oh, well, I, I offered it, but he, uh, oh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, say him for me to try him some first. There's something funny about you. In fact, I don't think you really can make rain by dance. I think you were tricking me to get some corn and eat it. I'm gonna teach you a lesson, boy. Oh, no, wait, listen. It sounds like thunder. No fooling. Oh, no. I saw you make that noise. Cut it out now. Whoever the chief's friend is doing that. Wow, it really is rain. Your, your rain dance did do it. Good. Then uh, I uh, can keep them uh, the corn them? Sure, and thanks. Wait a minute. This rain is saving the corn in more ways than one. It's saving me giving this to you because it's washed your war paint off and show me who you are. Who I am? Ah. I, I mean them. Who am I am them? Uh, me am uh, Big Chief uh, Raining Face. You're that corn-swiping sea Claudius Crow. Now, take that. Hey, uh, 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 wait a minute. I was only... I, I was... Get out of here and take that. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Ain't getting over that sugar crisp, sugar crisp. Sugar bear? Oh, he'll not get my sugar crisp this time. Oh, I'll change my house into a spaceship. <laughs> what do you know? The Granny Goodwitch spaceship. I must be a million miles away from him. Hi, Granny. Small universe. What are you doing up here? Just seeking the taste of 101 sweet buns. Namely, sugar crisp. You never get my sugar crisp cereal. Never. A little walk in space never hurt anyone. Boom, 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 You'll boom, never boom, find boom, it boom, here. Sugar crisp. The honey of a snack, you know. I know. Tumble through sugar and honey. It tastes like 101 sweet buns. You can't get enough of that sugar crisp. See you on Earth, Granny. Granny. You can get sugar crisp in post treat pack too. Post cereals make breakfast mm, a little bit better. This log is actually in transportation for crossing Krakata Lee infested waters. Uh huh. The King Yo, the logs have eyes? Of course not. Oh, good. Just wondering. It's a Krakata Lee. Jump for that log. Uh oh. Hold the phone. We're surrounded. What do we do? How about if you distract them with a funny story, and while they're laughing, we'll swim for the shore. Dear Lock, this is your way. Be kind to dogs, Wait. So have fun. You deserve it, cause you're not. Uh -huh. Up periscope. and another, even major mongrel.
Are you having a nice, be kind to dogs week? You look real happy. <coughs> look, Lawrence, somebody threw you a bone. This really is your way. <coughs> Why, Lawrence? See no evil? Speak no evil? Hair no evil? You mean that bones from Richard Harry, nearly silent movie star and part-time dog catcher? Quiet, all of you. You'll scare my quarry. We are hunting a treasure, and crocodiles are hunting us. Man, I hope this treasure's worth the effort. Ooh, five seconds more, and I wouldn't have been able to keep swimming. Out of breath, huh? No, out of time. There's a commercial coming. Specially marked boxes of alphabets. Collect them and trade them in all six colors. According to this treasure map, we are now on a riverbank. I could have told you that. After crossing river, stand absolutely still. However, look out for... Linus, do you have that sinking feeling? Do not interrupt. Look out for... Quicksand? Quicksand. Look, we're sinking. Off hand, I'd say we're sunk. So long. We'll see you after this story, maybe. Greetings, children friends. Today we have story of Little Red Sohai Hood. This little red Sohai Hood's lovely mother. And this is lovely wolf. No, eat. Eat for grandmother. She's sick. 
What? She's sick of... She's sick of not eating! Now take her eat! Little red soul high hood skip off through woods to grandmother's house. Woods very dangerous, but little red soul high hood not afraid of danger because he's stupid. <laughs> Permit me to introduce myself. I wolf. Hello, wolf. Well, it's for Granny. For Wolfie. Old ladies who eat get fat. You want fat, grandmother? Hmm? Wow, I really out of condition. Who? Wolf, think of easier ways to get eat. I just shortcut over to Granny's place and beat little sap to punch. Oh, you are smart, Wolfie, baby. <laughs> Little grandson, little red so high hood. Baby, I not in the mood for kid. But little red so high hood got it for granny. Hey. Surprise! You need shave, grandpa. I not grandson, I will. <laughs> you still need a shave. I look good in glasses. Wolf, hear sound of skipping feet? Come in, cute little grandson. Little Red So High Hood say, you got big eyes, Granny. Big and beautiful. Also, big nose. And you got a big mouth. And big ears and big feet. And get to the teeth! Big teeth, too. Wolf say the better to eat those eats with. Now I get those eats, little red so high hood. You mean little red, white, and blue so high hood. Forward, march! That make our third wolf this week. We got a nice business going here. Moral of story, honorable children, friends? One wolf at door worth two wolves in woods. Why he say wolves if wolves? W-O... All dry up. Grandpa, forest fires blocked in the road to town. Oh, we're out of cereal. The honeycomb kid will take care of things. He's a hero. Honey post, honey call for your phone. Tomorrow morning in your home sweet home, enjoy the evening because honeycomb. Honeycomb kids coming. Riding the golden eagle. Gotta bring those folks post honeycomb. Honeycomb. Bring the sweetest honey post honeycomb for your phone. What a real good treat having breakfast sweet as honeycomb. Best new corn cereal is real sweet. A big crisp treat, sweet as honey all through. Now to squeeze all the water out of this rain cloud and put out the fire. What a man that honeycomb is! He put out the forest fire! And brought us no post honeycomb! What a real good treat having breakfast sweet as honeycomb! Post cereals make breakfast a little bit better. Sugar Bear and I are sick and fierce. However, a sudden to turn the hot water. Bruised but safe. <laughs> While we catch our breath, this. Farmer, how many raisins and post raisin bread? There's a 
Your map now says take seven steps backwards. One, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six, seven. <laughs> the treasure map now says time south, take two giant steps, three fast hops, and discover treasure. A one, a two, cha cha cha. Look. That's the treasure we swam crocodile-infested rivers for? Risked life and limb for? That's my own throne. <laughs> Look, a note. A throne is the greatest treasure in any kingdom. Sign, the Phantom Mapmaker. Which means Billy Bide. So, to get even, I am going to let you do what he would give anything for. You may share this throne for a whole week. Anything you suggest as co-king will be carried out. Good. I think I'll just concentrate on punishments for Billy Bird. The Life's the Light Hot Show has been brought to you by Post. The cereals that make breakfast a little bit better. Post cereals make breakfast a little bit better. Which of these children is mentally retarded? They all are, and all need your help, some more than others. But they can be helped, and you can help them to be helped by giving generously to your unit of the National Association for Retarded Children. 